Are you in the club? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make rainbow jello worms <laughs> using straws, gelatin, and six different colors of jello. You're gonna wanna make sure that you use the straws that have the little flexible bend in them. That will make it look more like a worm. <laughs> and so you take your straws and grab them by the handful and then place a rubber band around them to hold them together. And then you wanna set them up in some type of a container. I'm just gonna use like a little plastic container so that when you pour in the jello, it doesn't spill all over your work surface. Now, just to make sure that some of the jello stays in the bottom, I have placed some clear tape around the bottom of the straws, and I just secured that with a rubber band. So, here we go. Oh gosh, it's starting to get thick already. <gasps> What a mess. Okay, so this will go into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and then we will start with our next color, which is orange. Next, we're going to make the orange. So pour that into the large measuring cup. Add some boiling water and we want to mix that until all of the jello is dissolved. Next we're going to add ice water and we want to mix that up until all of the ice is melted. Now here we go. I'm going to pour this over our straws. Okay, that should be enough. And now we'll let that sit for probably another 30 minutes. Okay, let's add the yellow. Okay, so we've added red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and now we're going to add purple. I don't even know if there's any room left <laughs> in these straws, but we're gonna give it a try. Can you see how full they are? <laughs> I think the jello is right at the top of most of them. Okay, so I am back with our hopefully jello rainbow worms and the jello is definitely, I let it set overnight so that it would be really, <laughs> really firm. So I think it's ready. So that's definitely, it's ready. Ooh, look, that's pretty. Actually, it kind of looks like the layers from when I was pouring it in. So that's neat. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> So I'm gonna pull, here's the rubber band with the tape from the bottom, oh, this is gonna be so messy. And I'm going to go and rinse all of the extra jello off of these because that is going to help it, help the worms come out. <laughs> it's gonna make it easier for the worms to come out of the straws. Okay, so I'm, go, I'm gonna go rinse them off and then we'll start rolling them out. Now some of them don't look very full, which is strange because <laughs> I poured so much jello into these. But of course, this is the first time I've made these and I have, I definitely have like a whole list of things I would do differently. So if they don't work, I'm gonna make them again. But I'm gonna give it a shot and see. I think you can see some of the jello in there. So it looks to me like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So hopefully this works. Uh oh. Well, there's a little bit of red. Oh, it's creepy. 
So I don't know. I mean, it's like a bunch of little worms, maybe. I also read that you could use a rolling pin to roll them. So I thought we could try that as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> that works, but I don't know why my jello is not hard. What's going on? So I found this recipe online and I read some mixed reviews for it. Some people said it worked great and other people said that it didn't work at all. This one is so full. Can you guys see this? I can definitely see all of the layers in this one. I don't want to mess it up. I was thinking about just maybe trying to blow it out. <laughs> and that's not going to work. So let's see here. So if I'm going to do it again. I am going to do it again. So when I do it again, I think what I'll use is a syringe to like individually put the jello in each straw. Oh, that worked pretty well. Except here's my purple one. Kind of looks like a slug. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to try, I'm trying a bunch of things. And this is what we have so far. So we have some little tiny ones. Some of them are long, but they're definitely not working the way that I had hoped. And this is what, when I was reading the reviews, this is what I read online, that it was really, 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 really hard to get them out of the straws, looking like worms. Like that you could get the jello out. <sighs> That's so gross. <laughs> it's like a blob. <gasps> it doesn't really look like a worm. <laughs> kind of looks like rainbow bird poop. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, I can't believe this didn't work. Okay, so next time I'm gonna use a syringe and I don't know what I can do to make the worms come out like worms instead of blobs, but... Ooh, this looks like a good one. Let's see if we can make this one work. A little bit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so here's what we ended up with. Basically a plate of mush. So a couple of the worms worked. We have one here and one here but there's no way you could pick these up to eat them. You'd have to eat it with a spoon. So I don't know why that didn't work because this one, this is the same Jello, and this definitely set up and there's no problems with this. So I, I don't know. I have a couple of ideas and maybe I'll try to redo the video and get it right. But this was definitely an absolute failure. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had fun watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>